Hey everyone, Duke here, and today we're showing you how to get a guaranteed red box weapon from the new King's Fall raid. This works pretty much exactly the same as it did for the Vow of the Disciple raid, with three symbols showing up underneath the portal in the opening encounter, showing you the three symbols that you will need to shoot throughout the raid. These symbols don't have as clean of names as they did in Vow, but just try to take note of which ones you will need here ahead of time. Also note that just like in Vow, you will only be able to get this extra chest once per week, so even if you have multiple characters and run this raid multiple times, you're still only going to get one per reset week. The first symbol is right at the start of the swings after getting the first chest. Jump on the first swing and turn around to see the first symbol. Do note that just like in Vow, you can shoot the spot again in order to turn off the symbol if it is one that you don't need for your set of three symbols. The second symbol is at the very end of the ship jumping puzzle towards the left side up the wall right next to the first secret chest. If looking at the secret chest, turn around and right above the door will be the second secret symbol. The third symbol is in the totem's encounter after completing it. In the left room towards the left side on the upper level will be your hidden symbol. You can either jump up to this level to shoot it, or just back up enough and get a little bit of height in order to shoot this symbol. The fourth symbol is in the war priest encounter on the right balcony. Do make sure to shoot this after completing the encounter as well as I've noticed that if you shoot it early and happen to wipe, it will turn off the symbol and may need to be reshot to activate. The fifth symbol is at the very end of the maze before Golgoroth. At the very last hole next to the door to Golgoroth, look down into the hole to see this hidden symbol. The sixth symbol is in the Golgoroth encounter itself in the little left alcove behind where the first damage pool spawns in the encounter. Again, I'd recommend to either do this after the encounter is over, or at least double check that it stays on after completing the encounter. The seventh symbol is in the jumping puzzle right next to the final secret chest. Use your ghost to find some of the secret platforms in order to make your way up here to get both the secret chest as well as the symbol if you need it. The eighth symbol is right at the end of the jumping puzzle above the door. Look directly above you by this door to see the spot to shoot in order to activate this symbol. The ninth and final symbol is above the door that you enter to come into the Daughters and Oryx final boss room. I would recommend not shooting this symbol until after completing Daughters, or at least until everyone is ready, because shooting at all in this room immediately starts the Daughters encounter and can cause people to not be ready or not rally the flag before the encounter starts. Do note that once you've activated all three symbols correctly, you should see the message, the runes accept your offering, noting that you will get the extra red box chest at the end of the raid. That's all for today. I hope this video helps you in the grind for crafting these awesome King's Fall weapons. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.